There's always been a joke going around about potato computers, and although we've made a video on this in the past before, that video was more or less a joke. But on a serious note, is it even possible to do this kind of stuff, and is it really possible to power a computer using plants? So the premise of this video is actually quite simple. So what we ended up doing is we ended up taking three plants that would be commonly found in a kitchen. Watermelon, potatoes, and lemons. Now the thing about these fruits and vegetables is that there has always been a myth surrounding them about using them as batteries and using them to charge your phone. Now the potato myth is actually tried and true, and a lot of high schools actually do this experiment to try and teach their kids about electricity and batteries. Now the thing about potatoes is that the current isn't really the issue, but the voltage is the issue. Now each potato has about 0.8 volts inside of it, and if you pair them up you can get a little bit more than 1.5 volts. Now the problem is that they're incredibly weird and finicky, so you could connect them one way and they'd work perfectly fine, but then you change one little thing connect it somewhere else and it would just completely stop working and we could not get this one working for some reason we really weren't sure why my personal guess is that there probably was an issue with the wiring and I probably shorted something out when I was doing it oh crap but I followed the directions mostly and we tested a couple of things and the components were all working it's just something was wrong with the potatoes and something was wrong with how I wired them and I also burned myself with a 9 volt battery so that's always fun oh boy they just blow out the LED now the lemon myth is actually a little bit different what we ended up doing is we ended up taking the lemons and putting them together in a very specific fashion that you'd find some common place on the internet. So this should be set up. I'm going to go ahead and try doing this. And we ended up wiring them and connecting them to try and get current to flow through them. Now the problem with lemons is that the current is very low between them. While the voltage is technically high compared to something like a potato or a watermelon, the current is incredibly low compared to the two, which means that you can't really do anything with it. And we also calculated that you would need a ton of lemons to try and power even something using a 120 volt outlet. You would need 13,245.03 lemons. So let's just round that down to 13,245. So you would need an unrealistic amount of lemons, pretty much, to equal the total current of a US outlet. So in conclusion, you technically can get lemons to have electric current, but in reality, it is incredibly sketchy, and you really can't do it very well. Now, we probably should have tested something with transistors to try and increase the current and the voltage, but to be honest, that would have taken an incredibly long time, and I don't really know anything about electricity and including transistors and stuff, so it really would have been a huge waste of time, and you really wouldn't have gotten much out of it. The watermelon myth has always been if you put watermelon in salty ice water, it will charge your phone, albeit slowly. Well, through our experiments, we found that it really isn't that true. Yes, it is theoretically possible, but in practice, it is impossible and you could not do it. It's a good place to plug it in. Nice. It's not charging. It's still not charging, so this one does not work. Do not try and charge your phone with the watermelon in ice water. Now I've got a bunch of watermelon I need to eat. Now you technically can power things with plants, but it really isn't that viable. It really is kind of ridiculous to try and do, and if you really want to do it, then you totally could. You would just need a ton of potatoes and lemons and a couple of other fruits and vegetables. So thank you all so much for watching, and if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to click here for more videos. And if you did enjoy the video, and you do want to connect more with the audience, or you want to talk to me personally, there is a Discord in the link in the description below, and we actually just finished working on it today, and I'm pretty proud of it, and I think it's a pretty fun place to hang out. So, thank you all so much for watching, and if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like and or subscribe if you're new around here. And to stay up to date on all the latest tech news, don't forget to stick around. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.